and there, and then uh, those kids getting ready for show choir season, and then musical season in a couple weeks. Which gotta love it. Outstanding, outstanding rendition by those young men, and uh, that's two national anthems in one night, and that's that's great stuff. As the Muskies, that's how we do it. Muscatine, you got it. First. Lex Hahn jumping against Lucas Hayes to start this one. Bettendorf, the road blacks, white numbers, gold trim. The Muskies, the home whites, purple numbers, and Vegas gold and purple trim. Full house, what a great atmosphere in cake auction night. And the tap controlled by Bettendorf and Carton brings it over half court. Muskies open and man as Melendez is stretched out on DJ Carton to open this one. They swing it on the right side for Feller, now it's back to Carton. Carton works on a Hayes screen. He feeds it inside Hayes, shot on the way up and in, two zip Bulldogs. Got it down low to the big sophomore who's got a huge future ahead of him. There's Hutton spins into the lane, loses it, picks it back up, no rebound, Carton, and here come the Bulldogs. DJ Carton pushes it ahead for Alexander. He steps into a three, back iron, no good rebound, Hutton and the Muskies. Take it back. Two zip Bulldogs, 718 left here in the first. Weiss camp way away from the rim, guarded by Alexander. Joe swings it to Melendez. Now it's over to Hutton. Now to Weiss camp on the right wing. Joe puts on the deck, elbow jumper on the way. Good, Joe Weiss camp. And we're tied at two. Weiss camp with his first basket. Yeah, good defense there by Alexander, but Weiss camp able to knock the fadeaway down. Carton brings the ball up. Melendez on him. Over to Alexander, now on the corner for Gist. Now it's back to Carton. He drives the lane, shot on the way, rolls out. No good rebound, Wieskamp, and here come the Muskies. Hutton in the front court. Good post defense from Lex Hahn. Gets it to Joe. Joe drives to the right. Joe steps into a three. Splash out of the corner. 5-2 Muskies. Joe Wieskamp with five straight points to start this one. Carton hesitates, and there's a foul on Melendez. That'll be the first on Antonio and the first on the Muskies. Yeah, Carton just showing his strength there. Antonio, I think, may have thought he got pushed off on, but they called the foul on Antonio. Carton bounces it in a baseline. He gets it over to Feller. Now it's to Alexander, back to Carton. Carton swings it over to Alexander. Corner for Feller. He works on a Hayes screen. Now the Muskies tip it away, but Hayes recovers. There's a corner to Alexander, and there's a foul, and it's going to go on just, I believe. And they're gonna it's call on Hutton. Hutton. They're going to call him for the moving, uh, for going around the screen, but uh, just was, I thought, moving and keeping him from getting yeah. through. Sure looked like it, and Joel. The, and Coach Belcher thought there was a travel before the foul. That's a first on Josh and the second on the Muskies. Just has it out high. He feeds it to Carton on the right wing. Carton now back out for Gist, and he swings it to Feller, and Bettendorf resets. And Coach Belger keeping us guessing. We thought they might be zoned tonight, and here he comes out in some man-to-man. -man. If Melendez or Hutton gets another foul, they're probably going to go zone right away, and Carton with a nice spin move knocks it in. D.J. Carton with his first basket, and it's 5-4 Muskies. 5.35 left in the first. Wieskamp walks it over half court. Bettendorf already has two subs ready to come in. Melendez in the corner. He'll take a three. Back iron no good. And the rebound. Feller to Carton. And Bettendorf looking to push tempo. DJ Carton in the front court behind the back dribble. Well, you can see why the college scouts yeah. like him. He's hey, got some good handles. Yeah, he's left-handed, too. Left-handed. Got a little uh, Dean Oliver in him there, huh? Yeah, hopefully. There's Melendez with the rebound on the miss, and here come the Muskies. As a Hawkeye fan, hopefully not so much that he goes and plays for Dean Oliver at Wisconsin. <laughs> There's Falk, three out of the left corner. No good rebound by Hayes, and here come the Dogs. One and done for the Muskies so far. They lead 5-4. Some good looks, though, and those guys need to keep taking those shots. Carton Carton gets defense. it taken away, and Hutton recovers. They had to Wieskamp down the lane. Blocked by Carton, but a foul on Alexander. Yeah. Good block by Carton, but Alexander's going to get him on the forearm. Also number five, Ty Alexander. Ty Alexander with his first, the first on the Bulldogs, and Wieskamp will go to the line to shoot two. Joe, 83% on the season. He was 18 for 18 Tuesday night against Central. His first free throw, no good. I just jinxed him with the 18 for 18. Had to flush it out of his system. Yeah. <laughs> get a restart. <laughs> Devin Wakefield checks into the Bulldog lineup along with number 15, Brant Mueller. 
Wieskamp's second free throw on the way, and it is good. 6-4 Muskies, 4.45 left here in the first. As Carton walks it over half court. Great crowd on cake auction night. Muskie girls lost game one, 48-29. Carton out high. Swings it over now for Feller. Now it's back over to Mueller. Mueller back to Carton. And then here's the zone we Muskies back go to that 2-3 extended zone. There's Wakefield. Back to Feller. They reverse it now. Mueller drives in, kicks it to Carton. Carton, top of the key. He'll step into a three. No good. Rebound by Carton. He drives the lane. Shot blocked by Hahn, but a foul on Lex Hahn. And boy, that was a late whistle. I thought Lex was in pretty good position. Yeah, I couldn't see it. I was shielded by the official, actually. That's the first on Lex and the third on the Muskies. DJ Carton will go to the line to shoot two. 76% in the season. Integrated therapy specialists providing quality physical therapy along with Uptown Motors providing you musky basketball this year. Carton misses the first. And, and don't think that these two guys don't understand that people are here to watch them. They had a nice smile and exchange before the game. Uh, they are friendly with each other off of the floor. They know each other well. And they are friends. and. Uh, They've been looking forward to this game all season long. 6-5 Muskies as Carton makes a second. Carton with three, Wieskamp with five. Joe cross-court pass, almost stolen, but Folk recovers. Jack drives the lane, shot up, no good. Rebound on the floor, out of bounds. It'll be Bettendorf ball. Wieskamp with six, I take that back. He's got all six Muskie points. And the Muskies lead 6-5. Carton walks it up, 340 to play in the first. D.J. Carton works on a hay screen. Now he kicks over to Wakefield. He had a wide open three, turned it down. Back to Carton. Both these teams, Joel, you can tell, really feed off their star. Yep. And they, they find a way. He's got to touch at every possession down. There's Mueller. Back to Carton. Carton at the elbow. Steps back. Shot on the way. Good. It's only a two, but Bettendorf leads 7-6 to six with 3.05 left in the first. Wieskamp in the front court. Joe takes a three. Short, no good rebound. Carton, and he's pushing tempo down the floor. DJ Carton all the way to the rim. Whoa, what a shot, but it's not going to count. Foul on the floor. And I believe it's on Hutton, and that's two on Josh. And the fourth on the Muskies, and that's a big foul on the Muskies early on. Yeah, that is that is a, a big thing. They have uh, the help in the guard in the backcourt here. And so Bryce Howard will come in. And the thing is with these senior guards in Hutton and, and Melinda is they have to be trusted a little bit to be able to play with those fouls. And that's where the zone, they went back to the zone to get him off man. And that was a foul in transition though that time. There's a baseline pass as Alexander comes in for Hayes. Carton swings it over. Now they get to the elbow to Wakefield. Back to Carton. Two and a half to play in the first. Carton steps into a 17-footer. Short, deflected by Melendez. Good defense by Antonio. Joe Wieskamp in the front court. Wakefield on him. Joe swings at the Falk. He'll take a three left wing. Short, no good rebound. Feller to Carton, and here come the Bulldogs. Right now, Bednorf just controlling the rebound situation. There's Wakefield with a spin move. No good rebound. Howard. Bednorf seven to Muskie six. 2-10 left in the first. Hutton out high to Wieskamp. Cross court for Melendez. Melendez back out front for Hutton. Over to Antonio. Trying to look inside. Good defense by the Bulldogs. There's Wieskamp. Dribbles to his left. Fall away three left wing. Back iron no good. Rebound cleared by Wakefield. And here come the Bulldogs again. 145 left in the first and Bedorf leads 7-6. West Side Store and Godfather's Pizza bringing you musky basketball this season. Carton swings it over to Feller, not a Wakefield. Corner for Alexander. He drives baseline, shot up, no good. And a foul either on Howard or Wieskamp. And it's going to go on Joe Wieskamp. And that's a first on Joe and a fifth on the Muskies. And, and right now, Bettendorf is just get, able to get into the get into the lane and, and cause some trouble. 
Alexander just 57 percent and he misses the first one. Mueller checks out. We've got some more substitutions as McCarris has checked in. Lex Hahn checks back in for Josh Hutton with those two fouls. Alexander makes the second and Bettendorf goes up 8-6 with 130 to play in the first. Muskies need to find a score to go with Joe. Joe's got all six points. They bounce it to Falk in the right wing. Had a couple good looks. Melendez out high. Swings it back to Wieskamp. Back to Melendez. He drives into the paint. Swings it to Falk. Back to Antonio. Now to Joe. Joe out high on the left side. He drives in the paint. Spins in the lane. Blocked by Carton. But after he was fouled. And Joe go to the line to shoot two. And it's going to be on Bacaris, number 53. His first and the second on the Bulldogs. And that's kind of the, the game plan is to run those other defenders who aren't necessarily as relied upon on the scoring side to use some of their fouls if they have to. Joe knocks down the first. 105 left in the first, 8-7 Bulldogs. Wieskamp with a chance to tie. What an atmosphere at Muscatine High School. Standing room only. Second free throw good. There's people everywhere, Joel. And it's got to make you proud being a former Muskie alum. Yeah, this is something that tonight that we always look forward to as a family. And it's, it's something that uh, uh, is unique to grow up here. And, and they do it right. This cake auction night and these boy-girl doubleheaders. Bettendorf bounces to Bacaris. He loses it. And Wieskamp comes out of there with it. Muskies with a chance to take the lead. Joe drives the lane. Plays it up and in. And the silence. I don't know if you caught it. Yeah, that. I did. And there's a the steal. Over. The Muskies went silent till they hit 10, as they did this a year ago. <laughs> and they upset Bettendorf, who was ranked 5 at the time. There's Melendez. They throw it inside. This one's a turnover. And it's 10-8 Muskies with 25 seconds left. The Muskie student section, the crowd was silent until they hit 10 points, and now they're going crazy. <laughs> And that's a big, that's one of the biggest student sections yeah. we've had all yeah. year. And now they're going crazy as it was dead silent. Carton in the front court. Going to play it out. Melendez hounded him out high. Clock at 10. Just has it. Clock at 6. They swing it out of bounds off Wakefield. Musky ball. And great job by Melendez knowing that Garten was giving it up to kid out, get open to still get that last shot. And just the denial defense. There's Falk gets it. Jack may have a buzzer. Yeah. And there's a foul on DJ Carton in the backcourt. And that's really a foul he doesn't need to commit. And that's a huge foul. Smart play by Jackson Falk. To understand yes. who he had on him, he goes right at it with three seconds to go in the quarter. And uh, that was just a, that's a heady play from a senior leader. Yes, it is. First foul on Carton. And the third of the Bulldogs. Melendez with a buzzer beater at the gun. Short, no good. We played one. The Muskies 10. The Bulldogs 8. We're stepping away for 60. List the Muskie boys basketball. We are back at Muscatine High School. One quarter in the books. And the Muskies lead the Bulldogs 10-8. Wieskamp with all 10 Muskie points. And Joe has it to start the second quarter. Crossover on Alexander out front. Feeds it to Melendez in the corner. Now it's a cross-court pass to Folk. Jack drives in. Now he kicks it back to Antonio. Now to Howard at the elbow. Over to Folk. Now to Melendez. Muskie's being patient. They're giving Antonio that shot. Back to Howard. Now to Falk. Jack on the right wing. Back to Wieskamp. Deep three. Good! Joe Wieskamp. Bring it rain and the Muskies lead by five. <laughs> that was from beyond NBA range. 13-8 Muskies. Working into Kingsbury County there. Muscatee Community College bringing you Muskie, Muskie basketball. <laughs> Kingsbury, that not, Kingsbury at parking lot range. There's Bacaris <laughs> on the drive and a foul on Howard. And that'll be the first on Bryce and the sixth on the Muskies. So Bettendorf will be in the bonus after this. Bacaris will go to the line to shoot two. 67% on the season. U Sports Foundation bringing you Muskie basketball. Free throw is no good. 
along with affordable metal manufacturing, your local source for cut-to-length metal roofing, steel buildings, and hybrid steel buildings. Bacaris will shoot one more. Just a freshman, a 6'5 freshman. So Bettendorf's two post players are freshmen and sophomores. Those two have bright futures here with the Bulldogs. Yeah. Wieskamp brings it over half court. Joe in the lane, spin move. Now he pulls it out to Melendez. And the Muskies are going to reset. There's Melendez, swings it to Wieskamp. Alexander on him. Joe with another deep three. Good! <laughs> Splash! 16-8. And that brought a wry smile from Fran McCaffrey <laughs> sitting across the way. 6.44 to play. He's sitting by Patrick. He's got a smile, too. Joe Wieskamp with all 16 musky points. There's a drive. Alexander blocked. And a jump, jump ball. ball. And possession arrow will go to Bettendorf. Really good block shot there from Bryce Howard. Muskies have got excellent shot blockers with Howard Hahn and Wieskamp. 6.35 to play in the first 16 to 8, or in the first half, 16 to 8 Muskies. Alexander over to Bacaris. Bacaris swings it to Jess. Corner three, short. Rebound Howard to Falk, and here come the Muskies. Joe's failing it, and we said, you never know, one of these nights, and he's got three threes here in this one. And uh, he's a young man who doesn't mind having this many eyeballs on him, and there's Maybe makes him a little bit better. Jackson Falk for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound slapped around, and Hahn clears it to Melendez. Down to Florida Wieskamp. Three ball right wing. Good! Uh -huh. Joe Wieskamp with another tray. And the Muskies go on top, 19-8. Timeout, Bettendorf. 30-second timeout. 5.59 to play in the first half. And it's Wieskamp, 19, Bettendorf, 8. Oh, the former Hawkeye point guard yeah. has got, he's ear to yeah. ear, and he's already got a big smile. Fran doesn't have a wry smile now. It's a full-fledged <laughs> smile. And uh, and again, we're, we just happen, they're in our sight line. We're yeah. not just checking them out this whole no. time. But it's, <laughs> when you get a special player like this, and here's the thing, though, Carton is more than capable of answering every one of these right. shots so far. So you can't let up. You have well, to keep your foot on the accelerator. Coach Clark couldn't have been happy because that was the only open look Joe's really had. Right. They lost Joe, and, and there's no way they can lose Joe. You know, normally there's two guys saddling him up. There's Carton in the front court. Bettendorf really controlled the first quarter, and the Muskies here really getting after him in the second. Muskies have outscored him 9-zip to start the second quarter. Just bounces it over for Feller. Feller on the left wing now feeds Bacaris at the elbow, and we've got an offensive foul here. Offensive foul, I believe it's on Hayes. Yeah, Hayes just, he just put it into, he went into pass pro mode, yeah. and he just backed him down off the block, and the official right on it. Yeah. The sophomore picks up his first. The fourth team foul on Bettendorf. The Muskies with six fouls. Five and a half to play in the first half. He has a nice kick slide. I can see why the, the Bettendorf football program is so high on him, too. Melendez to Wieskamp in the left corner. They run the double at Joe. He loses it, but Melendez picks it back to Joe. Three ball left. Wing good! <laughs> Joe Wieskamp bringing rain! Get your umbrellas out. It's pouring inside. Joe's smiling 22 now. to 8. Muskies by 14. Joe Wieskamp with 22. And Bettendorf has 8. Unbelievable. I've seen a lot of great performances. This one's going to rank right up there. There's a cross-court pass. Just barely saves it. Almost stolen by Melendez. Now Carton has it. DJ Carton drives in the lane. Runner rattles around it in. And Carton breaks a 12-0 streak. And it's 22-10. And Hose, or Antonio looks like he's hurt. Wieskamp's feeling it, but he bounces it to Falk. Jack drives baseline. He shoots it, and it's blocked. Rebound Falk back to Wieskamp. Joe puts it on the deck, bounces it back for Melendez, and the Muskies reset. Coach Belger calling out UCF. Now they bounce it to Hahn on the right wing. Back to Melendez, swing it to Falk. Jack spins it, and there's a foul, and it's going to go on Antonio Melendez. And that's his second. And he's been run over twice here by Carton. And the seventh and on the foul. And Hutton checks back in, Joel. You're right, with Josh with two, Antonio with two, 
and Hutton steps back out on the floor. And, and one thing that I'm impressed just from last year when we saw Carton as a young sophomore, he has put on probably eight or nine pounds of muscle. He's a much bigger, stronger player, and he's trying to start to use that in his game. And uh, he's gotten away with a couple fouls here, but it's, it's a fast-paced game. I thought the loose ball in the last offensive possession for Bedworth was in. Four minutes to play in a half, 22 to 10 Muskies. Feller swings it over now for just back to Feller. Muskie sagging that 2 3 zone right now as Bettendorf doesn't shoot it great. They tried an alley oop short, rebound on the floor, ripped out of there by Lex Hahn, and here come the Muskies. Hutton in the front court to Wieskamp. Deep three, top of the key. Good! Oh! Ring and rain! <laughs> Joey's can't put on a show. 25 to 10 Muskies. Wees camp with 25. Carton out high. He'll take a three. No good. Rebound by Hayes. Straight to the basket. Blocked by Howard. And off of Husky Lucas. ball. Bryce Howard, not my neighborhood. Timeout, Bendor. Full timeout. 316 to play and a half. The Muskies 25, Bender 10. Meditation. Integrated Therapy Specialist PC is a proud supporter of Muscatine Muskie Athletics. Go Muskies! Back at Muscatine High School. Prime yourself, Joel Crossauer. 3-10 left in the half. Muskies lead Bender of 25 to 10, and Joe Wieskamp the story. All 25 points for the Muskies, and there's a turnover Muscatine. I mean, incredible. Coach McCaffrey in the house with son Patrick, former Hawkeye great Mike Gasell right in front of him, and they haven't stopped smiling since about one minute into this game. And Coach Clark for <laughs> Bettendorf really using a smart timeout there, going to a full timeout, getting an opportunity to kind of deflate yeah. some of the energy that was in the building and try to get something going offensively. Feller, and they're here also. <laughs> Trust me, DJ Carton's way up on their list, and he's a terrific player for the Dogs, and he'll get it going, but Joe Wieskamp's just taking this thing over tonight. Wieskamp stutter step on Wakefield to the rim. They're called charge. Offensive foul on Joe. And that'll be Joe's second as he runs over Hayes on the block. And I don't, I, I, he may have charged, but there was an arm bar and a reach going there. And, and I, I understand why the charge was called, but there was a reach that was missed prior to that. Joe's second in the zone. Joe will be smart with this. We saw him get two fouls yeah. in the first quarter Tuesday night, and he ended the game with two fouls. So. And that was a that, that was a game plan clearly from Central the other night, and it's a, it's a smart one because he is so aggressive going to the rim. 25-10 Muskies, two and a half to play in the half. DJ Carton out high swings it for Alexander to Hayes. Now they get it to Feller on the right wing. He feeds Wakefield and back out to Alexander. Feller swings it to Carton. DJ on the left wing. Jackson Folk steps out on him. Now they swing it back as Bettendorf showing patience. Muskie's doing a nice job in the zone. Alexander for three. Back iron, no good rebound. Lex Hahn high in the air. And here come the Muskies. Hutton walking it up. Coach Belger calling out a set. And Coach Belger, I think he wakes up in the morning and starts coaching until he goes back <laughs> to bed. All 24 7 basketball. Wieskamp on the deck. Over to Falk. Back to Joe as they've got DJ Carton guarding him now. It's a matchup everybody wants to watch. Couple of superstars in high school. There's Hutton. As the Muskies have a couple of double high posts. Now they get it to Wieskamp. Carton steps out on him. Back to Josh Hutton. Clock at a minute 25. Now it's back to Joe. Muskies being very patient with a 15 point lead. Wieskamp. Out high. Picks his dribble up. Back to Folk. And now to Hutton. Bettendorf really sags, obviously. Daring anybody on the Muskies to take a shot, but Wieskamp at the moment. Hutton drives baseline. Cross court for Falk. Now he flings it, swings it to Howard. Belger's calling for no shot, so he's letting him run this first half clock down. Oh, 
trying to really control this clock. La Marilia Mexican Restaurant bringing you musky basketball along with CBI Bank and Trust. Wees camp out high, clock at 40, back over to Hutton. Muskies with eight team fouls, and that's another reason Belger's squeezing the clock. He's got three guys with two fouls. That's smart coaching. Joe out high. Back to Hutton, clock at 25. Hutton holds it way away from the basket. Guarded by Alexander to Wieskamp. Corner three, Joe. Back iron, no good. And the rebound cleared by Feller. Gets it to Carton. Clock at 10 as DJ Carton holds it out high. Look for him to take the last shot for the dogs. Carton guarded by Falk. Clock at five, back to Feller. He steps into a three, top of the key. Good. He knocks it down at the half. It's Muscatine 25, Bendorf 13. Stay tuned for the High V halftime show. This fan base has been treated to quite a night of basketball here. And, and the thing is, we've talked about records all year long with, with what East Camp is accomplishing. And his teammates are very proud to be a part of those. But again, the, the focus is sweeping Benton North in basketball, which hasn't doesn't happen as often in no. Muskie his history. And then that's one more step towards the ultimate goal, which is to get a, a decent seed going into regional play and then getting to the Wells Fargo Arena. Just Carton, Feller, Hayes, and Alexander to start second half for the Bulldogs. Hutton, Falk, Wieskamp, Hahn, and Melendez for the Muskies. Hahn has on the right wing. Now it's Falk on the left wing. Jackson swings at baseline for Lex Hahn. And now out front for Josh Hutton. Just underway, third quarter, the Muskies 25 and the Bulldogs 13. And the other thing was Melendez and Hutton both escaped the first half without picking up that third foul. Melendez to Hutton. Bettendorf's got Carton on Wieskamp now. They feed it into Joe. Try to in the post is deflected off DJ and out of bounds. It'll be musky ball. And that is another plot point, though, too. Joe Wieskamp with two fouls in the first half. And Carton with one. There's Hutton looking to get it in. Finds Wieskamp on the curl. Joe, good defense by Hayes stepping out. They swing it out of Folk in the right wing. Jackson bounces it back to Joe Wieskamp. Now to Hutton on the left wing. Now they swing it to Melendez. Muskies can be very patient with a 12-point lead. And they are right now. Yeah, especially if no one's going to guard Melendez out at the top. He can just dribble it around. Wieskamp no. step back three left corner. Back iron no good rebound just. And here comes Bettendorf. Muskies shoot up a minute there. 6.50 to play here in the third. 25-13. Feller swings it cross court for Gist. Now in the corner to Alexander. Carton three on the right wing. Back iron, no good rebound. Alexander. Now they feed it inside to Hayes. Shot blocked by Falk. Picks it back up to Alexander. Lays it up and in and a foul on Lex Hahn. That'll be the second foul on Lex and the first on the Muskies here in the second half. Yeah, really good cut there from Alexander. Bryce Howard checks in for Hahn. Alexander will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Muscatine Lumber bringing you musky basketball, your locally owned lumber yard. Alexander misses it, but Hayes gets a rebound. Carton now drives in the lane, floater in the lane, no good. Rebound tapped on the floor, picked up by Alexander. Bettendorf really scrappy here. Carton for three right wing, good. DJ Carton now has 10, and we've got a foul. Or actually, an incidental contact, no whistle as Alexander hit the floor. 25 18, Bettendorf on a 5 0 run to start the third. Carton now with 10. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a situation where the hot shooting has to keep up for Muscatine, and some other guys have to score. Wieskamp really hounded by Alexander, and there's a foul on Ty Alexander. And that'll be his second and the first on the Bulldogs. CBI Bank and Trust, ready and willing to help you with all your financial needs. Proud supporters of Muscatine Musky Basketball. Falk will inbounds. And there's a foul on Gist as he's holding Wieskamp. Trying to get the ball inbounds. And Bettendorf did this up at Bettendorf. They're real physical with him, which I don't blame him. He just torched him for 25 in the first half. Their goal is not to let Joe catch it. Right. It's not about getting shots. They don't even want him to touch it. There's Melendez out high, guarded by Alexander. 
Joe, corner for Hutton. Hutton works off a screen from Falk, and now he kicks it back to Jack. Jack bounces into Joe on the block. Weiss camp to the rim, up and in, and a foul! And I believe it's on Carton. Yep. And it is. It's on DJ Carton, and that'll be his second. And, and just like a great post player, when he gets it down low, he gets it he gets it up quick. He's so strong. That's a dimension he's added to his game that he didn't have a few years ago. Wieskamp will go to the line to complete the old-fashioned three-point play, and he does. And the Muskies go up 28-18. Wieskamp with all 28 Muskie points. I've, I've never seen this. Never Ryan. in my life. I just... <laughs> There's Hayes at the elbow. Muskie's back off him. He doesn't take the shot. Now they bounce it to Jis. They get it back to Hayes. He spins in the lane. Now they get it back to Hayes at the elbow, and he loses it. But Feller picks it up. Cross-court pass. Jis steps into a three. Good. <laughs> Phil Jis knocks it down, and it's 28-21. There's Wieskamp kicking it out, and we got a pushing foul on the floor. And it's on Alexander again, and he's got three now. And right now, the, the pressure, the run outs, the getting Joe the ball in a point guard type position is running that opportunity to draw those fouls and to continue to put pressure and get those team fouls up to get Muscatine into the bonus. 28-21. Muskies by seven. 5-20 to play here in the third. Melendez way out high on the left wing. Over to Hutton. Now they swing it to Jack Falk. Out front from Melendez to Wieskamp. Wieskamp on the left wing. Joe picks his dribble up, swings it back to Hutton. Josh over to Melendez. Now to Wieskamp. Joe, three-pointer top of the key. Good, Joe Wieskamp. 31-21. Wieskamp with all 31 points. I've... Never seen this in it's my like, life. It's like NBA Jam right now. And there's a pass out of bounds. It'll be Bettendorf ball. 4.44 left in the third. And the Muskies lead 31-21. All seasons glass for all your auto glass door and window repair needs. Proud supporters of Muskie Athletics. Just will inbounds. Muskies in a 2-3 zone on the inbounds. They get it to Hayes. He spins in the lane, picks it up. Cross court for Wakefield is checked in. He'll take a three left wing. Long, no good, and a foul on Hayes. Great box back. out by Bryce Howard. Howard was all over that. Good box out by Bryce, and that's the second on Hayes and the fifth on the Bulldogs. And the Muskies pushing real close to getting in the bonus here. Muscatine's attention to detail on the defensive end has been outstanding this evening, Brian. No doubt about it. Great. And Coach Belger said that when I talked to him before the game. He's very pleased with their defense this year. There's Wieskamp. Bounces it for Hutton. He'll take a three right wing. Go! Boom! Josh Hutton breaks the streak. And Jackson Falk loves it. Full flex mode from Falk. And the Muskies go up 34-21. Their biggest lead. Her second biggest lead, sorry, they're at 13. Hutton with a three. There's a corner three good by Feller. He answers, and it's 34-24. Wieskamp hesitation dribble in the front court. Foul on Wakefield, and that's a 16 foul on the Bulldogs and the first on Devin Wakefield. Yeah, just a quick turnaround, getting the offense going right after the made basket. That's what drew that foul. McCarris, now the freshman, checks in for the sophomore. Hayes. So freshman and sophomore posts and the Muskies with two senior posts. There's Falk, bounces it back to Josh Hutton. 3.50 to play. Wieskamp going baseline. Feeds Howard. Bryce to the rim. Lays up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Stripped away. No. And Feller clears for Bettendorf. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Carton. Crossover on oh, Melendez. Good. Tone almost stripped it. Now they feed it to Bacaris, the freshman. Back out front, Feller for three, good. Feller knocks it down. Bettendorf with four threes now in the third. And this leads 34-27. Feller starting to feel it here. Coach Belger wants a 30-second timeout. 3.27 to play in the third. Officials in Jackson Folk uh, allowing a fan to, to move through the through the stadium, which is good sports. Yes, it is. Everybody. Awesome. Jack inbounds to Josh, and we restart the game. Just out on him, now to Melendez. Antonio out high. Swings it to Wieskamp, just on him. Joe, 
Pounds a dribble, feeds Hutton in the corner, Josh for three, short, no good rebound. Cartman, here come the Bulldogs. And they feed it ahead to Wakefield, lays it up and in. And Bettendorf has cut this lead down to five at 34-29. Bryce Howard yeah. took a shot of the nose and he may have a bloody nose. So the medical staff. So Bettendorf has one, of their trainer is right there as Nicole comes to give attention. Nicole Calvert, her wonderful parents in town this weekend. Bill and Karen Salveson. Nicole's a great girl and Doc's very lucky to have her. There's no doubt about that. She has to put up with a lot. Bill and Karen tell me that all the time that Doc's really lucky to have their daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he watches the replay. And the replay, speaking of that, Chad Yoakum in the house. Filming Channel 9, 7 and 9, these replays can be seen all weekend, boys and girls. There's Wieskamp on the left wing, bounces into a three. Oh. Now on a foul on the elbow on Wakefield, and Joe go to the line to shoot three. Oh, had a chance at a four-point play there, and that puts also Bettendorf into the bonus. Muskies now can really attack the basket, knowing when they get fouled, they're gonna get rewarded with free throws. Joe knocks down the first of three. Thirty-five twenty-nine Muskies, 249 left in the third. They led 25 to 10 at one point, 25-13 at halftime. Wieskamp's second free throw, good. 18 in a row on Tuesday night. He has missed one tonight. Yeah, the first one. <laughs> yeah. After I said he made 18 in a row, he missed it. And Joe makes the third. He make, gets the hat trick. Muskies go up 37-29. Wieskamp with 34. Monsanto bringing you Muskie Athletics. 2-2-1 two, two, pressure now by the Muskies. First time we've seen that tonight. Very effective Tuesday night against Central. There's just He bounces into the gap. Almost travel. Now he pulls it out. Feeds Carton. DJ resets for the Bulldogs to Feller. And out of Carton. Excuse me, now it's Bacaris at the elbow. Bettendorf playing catch around the horn. Now they throw an alley-oop to Carton, but Hutton with good defense. DJ recovers, misses it, and the rebound on the floor. They're going to call it on Wieskamp. They're call Wieskamp for the takeover. And that'll be Joe's third as he and Wakefield went after it, and the foul goes on Joe, and that's his third. I, that looked like it was just a good, strong rebound from our vantage point. Looked like Joe had inside position, but it was a 50-50 ball. They gave it to Wakefield. There's Carton out high. Melendez with great feet. Guarding him as tight as he can. There's Carton kicking it out to Wakefield. Now they go cross court and out front to Feller. Musky student section's been phenomenal all night, and they're picking it up again here. There's Gist driving into the lane. Bounces it out to Feller. Now they feed it to Bacaris. The freshman goes in, kicks it out to Wakefield. He drives in, eight-footer air ball, no good rebound on the floor. And it's off Bacaris, and it'll be musky ball. Good hustle by the freshman battling Wieskamp baseline. Yeah, there was a, it, the intensity is really starting to pick up here. Bettendorf's starting to feel uh, they've got it under the double-digit lead that they can get back into this game. Wieskamp on Wakefield, buck and a half. Joe with a deep three, splash. Joe Wieskamp with 37, and the Muskies lead 40 to 29. Wieskamp with another 25-footer, probably his fourth one of the night. Wakefield lays it in on the other end, but it's 40 to 31 Muskies with 110 to play in the third. Wieskamp, hesitation dribble, drives basically, lays it up and in, and a foul! Joe Wieskamp has it on automatic! <laughs> he has taken over this evening. I thought last year at Assumption was the best stat line I've ever seen. I think tonight may just move in front of that. His rebound numbers are way down, though. Yeah, oh. Joe, yeah. <laughs> I'm, ki yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, you're you're fine. In the, uh, what's he got? Five. He's got four. Yeah, yeah, four. Well, I wouldn't still be shocked if he didn't end with ten. Wieskamp will go to the line, and the free throw is good. Wieskamp 
The last three possessions for the Muskies has three free throws, a three-pointer, and now a basket and a make, or a free throw make, so he's got nine consecutive points in the Muskies lead 43-31. There's a foul on Melendez, and that'll be the third on Antonio and the third on the Muskies. If you haven't watched Muscatine play this year, one of the true unsung parts of their team is Antonio Melendez's ability to defend a guy like DJ Carton. Muscatine leads 43-31, and Joe Wieskamp has 40 of the 43 points. Incredible. Joe Wieskamp had the first 34 points of the game for the Muscatine Muskies tonight. There's a three. Shot no good. Actually, the first 31, I take that back. Carton has really impressed me with his ability to rebound tonight, Brian. There's a foul. This one's going to go on Lex Hahn. That's his third. So the Muskies now with Hahn, Wieskamp, and Melendez with three. Alexander with three for better. Carton will go to the line to shoot two. He has ten points. Free throw good by Carton. Howard's going to check in now for Lex Hahn. Wakefield's checking back in now for Bettendorf. And he's played well here in the second half for the Dogs. Yeah, absolutely. He's had to shoulder some of the defensive load. Second free throw by Carton is good. DJ Carton makes a pair. He now has 12. Hutton brings it up against Just. Gets it over half court, clock at 30. I'm sure Muscatino play for one, unless Wieskamp gets an open look before that. And now they pull it out. 43-33, Muskies by 10. 20 seconds and counting here in the third. Hutton out front, guarded by Gist. He gets it to Wieskamp, clock at 13. Joe guarded by Alexander. Alexander with three fouls. Joe's gonna go hard at him. Now they run the double. Joe picks it up, swings it to Falk. They try to feed it. Nice pass yes! to Superzak. Plays it up and in. Jack Falk drops a dime. We played three in the Muskies lead. 45-33. On the Muskies. Right now, Bettendorf coming out with this fourth quarter. They're starting it exactly how they wanted to. A couple quick buckets from Carton. Carton walks the ball up the floor for the Bulldogs. Hesitation dribble in the lane. Swings it out to Mueller, who's checked in. His first action of the second half. Feller now to Alexander. Now it's back to Mueller. He swings it right side for Feller. Wakefield drives in. Back to Mueller. Mueller drives on the lane. Kicks it to Alexander. Baseline jumper good. Ty Alexander now with five. And Bettendorf has cut into this 12-point lead. And it's now six with 6.45 to play. 45-39 Muskies. Alexander's been hampered by some foul trouble. He has three. He's guarding Wieskamp. Wieskamp with three, and there's a foul on Mueller. And that's a ninth foul on Bettendorf, and Hutton will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. This is where that bonus is so, so huge for Muscatine, because now with the defensive intensity picks up for Bettendorf, every foul could result in the points for Muscatine. Hutton will go to the line. He's got three. He, Wieskamp had scored the first 31 of the night for the Muskies. And Josh Hutton knocked down a three from the right wing. And Hutton's free throw is good. The senior point guard who's played all very well all season long, taking care of the ball. His assist to turnover ratio, two to one, but outstanding defensively. And Josh's second free throw on the way is good. Hutton now with five and the Muskies lead, 47-39. Two big free throws there. First National Bank of Muscatine proudly supporting Muscatine Muskie Athletics. Visit any of their four convenient locations. Carton walks it up now. Full house here at Muscatine High School. What a great high school atmosphere. There's DJ Carton. Drives a lane on Howard. Lays it up and in. DJ Carton really shining here in the fourth. He's up to 18 and it's 47-41 Muskies. He's Wieskamp, guarded by Alexander. Swings it to Melendez, who's checked in. Give it Hutton a quick blow. Hutton and Hahn set to check right back in for the Muskies. Joe Wieskamp works on a Falk screen. Joe drives baseline on Carton, back to Jack Falk. Over to Melendez. 
550 and ticking. Now Jack Falk. Back to Antonio. Ball almost stolen. We got a foul. That's and this a one's going to go on Feller. So this would be interesting if this almost becomes like a, a hack a hack a tone. Uh, <laughs> Trevor <laughs> Feller's first or second. And Melendez got the line 64% on the year, and Tone's free throw is short, no good. Because the Muskies are in the double bonus, so they'll have two free throws from here on out on any foul. Hahn checks in, Cooper Zek checks out. Hutton checks in for Jackson Ericks. Hutton checks in for Howard. So the Muskies have Falk, Hahn, Wieskamp, Melendez, and Hutton. Second free throw. Good. Melendez in the scoring column. His first point. Bettendorf has Wakefield, Carton, Alexander, Gist, and Feller. Carton to Gist. 48-41 Muskies. Bounce pass Alexander. Now they feed it to Wakefield at the post. He drives in. Kicks it back out to Feller. Now to Carton. Carton cross court for Gist. Now they feed it to the elbow. Wakefield. Spin move in. Shot up. No good. Blocked by Hahn. And out of bounds, it'll be Bettendorf ball. Yeah, good shot block there by the 6'5 senior Hahn. Just will inbounds under his own basket. Feeds Alexander. Now to Feller, and they swing it around the horn. Now they get it to Alexander. 17-footer straight on. No good rebound Hutton. And here come the Muskies. Five minutes left to play. 48-41 Muscatine. Wieskamp, left wing. Joe spins in on Alexander to the rim. Shot it away. Good! And a foul! Just showing <laughs> everything in this game. Foul is on Alexander. That's his fourth. And Wieskamp will go to the line to complete another three-point play. Joe with 42 with a chance to make it 43. Free thrown away by Wieskamp is good. Wieskamp, 43, and the Muskies lead 51-41. Students getting into it still tonight. Bogey Motors, your full lineup of quality previously owned vehicles bringing you Muskie basketball. Carton walks it up for the Bulldogs. 4.50 to play. DJ Carton. Little contact with Melendez. Now it's back out front. Carton has it. Now he spins in the lane, and there's a foul. It's on Melendez or Hahn. Boy, that looked like pretty good defense, Joel. Yeah. And it's going to be on Antonio Melendez, and that's his fourth. And I thought Tone was in good position. Fourth on Melendez. Tough matchup trying to guard D.J. Curtin. Yeah. There's Wakefield swinging it around the horn now as he swings it in the corner for just Corner three, no good rebound. Lex Hahn, high in the air. Good rebound by Lex. And here come the Muskies. Wieskamp in the front court. Steps into a three. Blocked by Wakefield. Gets his own rebound, and it's out of bounds off Joe. It'll be Bettendorf basketball. Yeah, I, he blocked the ball, but I thought he got some elbow, too. But that's going to be a turnover for Muscatine. 419 left. Muskies by 10. There's Gist, out front now for Feller. Bettendorf playing catch, they throw the alley-oop to Carton for the jam. There's a pretty play, it's the third time they've tried it and the first time it worked. But boy, when it did, it was a thing of beauty and Carton up to 20. One of, the reasons, to one of the reasons that works is Melendez having to back off a little bit with his fourth foul. 345, exactly right, Joel. There's Wieskamp driving a lane and he's fouled and they go to the line to shoot two. As this is Joe time, baby, and the foul's on Devin Wakefield. Best closer in the state, best player in the state, and the best player closer in the state, Joe Wieskamp, going to the line to shoot two. Yeah, we should probably play some Enter Sandman or something at the beginning <laughs> of the fourth quarter because it's like Trevor Hoffman yeah. coming out of the bullpen. That's right. Wieskamp makes the first. 
You know, in pregame we said Joe needed 84 to tie a horner and 85 to pass. And we didn't and think I, he'd get halfway I there. said, realistically, we'll look at it next Friday. Well, folks, realistically, it could be next Tuesday when Bettendorf come, or Burlington comes to town. Wieskamp stopped to 45. Well, Joe had 50 against Burlington here a year ago. There's a bounce pass right baseline to Alexander. Muskies try to tie him up. They don't. They reverse it to Carton. Good rotation from Hutton there. Hutton on him. They works on a screen. Carton for three. Short. No good rebound. Wieskamp. And here come the Muskies. 320 to play. Muskies by 10. Wieskamp crosses over. Down the lane. Baseline lays it up. And in the foul. Joe Wieskamp. Unbelievable. And, he, and he's absolutely creating the contact, playing right to it, chin to the rim. He finishes it. When he's on the right side, it's almost automatic. 47 for Wieskamp, going for 48. 314 left, and Wieskamp completes yet another three-point play. The Muskies, 56-43, 310 to play. Wieskamp with 48. This is the second most he scored in a game. He had 50 and 47 a year ago in games. There's a three good by That's a just. big bucket there for Bettendorf. And now we've got a timeout Bettendorf. I, <laughs> this is... I'm almost speechless. There's just not much else to be said. It's, it's I, You know, I, if we didn't have to talk, Joel, we would be speechless. Yeah, probably. It, it's, 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 <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. You got And what a venue. You know, everybody says, well, Joe, going to be nervous coaches in the house. Uh, I think no. he answered that question. I think he looked at this opportunity tonight playing against a friend and a great, great player in D.J. Carton and Bendorf. And new one, Coach McCaffrey's in the house. Joe's putting on a show. Well, Wees mean, camp. Oh, oh, there's a nice, great good steal. idea, but Carton with great athletic ability stole that pass. There's a baseline shot. Now Carton tips it up and in. And he's now up to 22 as D.J. Carton has played an outstanding game himself tonight. And, boy, he's got a bright future. There's Wieskamp on the right wing. Joe loses it, and there's a scrum on the floor between Carton and Wieskamp. So it'll be musky ball. And it's going to be a jump ball, and a possession goes to the Muskies. Those are two tremendous competitors going after him. So it's going to be white ball here. It'll be Muscatine ball. Timeout Muscatine. And we'll see if it's a full or full timeout. We are back at Muscatine High School, 2.33 left in this one. The game two of cake auction night, full house overflow crowd. And the Muskies lead Bettendorf 56-48. Joe Wieskamp, certainly the story of the night as he is most nights, with 48 of the Muscatine, 56 points. Josh Hutton has five, Cooper Zek two, and Antonio Melendez one. Joe Wieskamp, uh, just incredible tonight. Carton with 10 quick D points here. This DJ Carton has 22 points and has been outstanding, but when Joe's got 48, it's just, you know, it's just, you know, you get two Division One players here. Just tremendous. Folk inside, shot up, no good, tapped away and cleared by Feller and Bettendorf now with a chance to cut into this eight-point lead. Feller swings it to Carton. Melendez with four fouls on him. Alexander back to Carton. DJ drives into the lane. Runner foul on Hahn. And that'll be the fourth on Lex Hahn. So we, we were talking a little bit about basketball recruiting earlier. Honestly, if, if Coach Fran McCaffrey, who's in the house tonight, is able to secure DJ Carton and his son Patrick McCaffrey in the, in the same recruiting yes. class, that's a very similar uh, acquisition yes. to Nick Collison and Kirk Heinrich yes. that Kansas had. That's a very reasonable comparison for those. And you've people. got McCaffrey, Patrick McCaffrey, sitting by dad over there who walked in, and I know they list him at 6'9", and... You know, my son said earlier he's like 6'10", 6'11". I'm not sure how tall Patrick is, but boy, he's stretching out. Carton makes a pair, and now he's got 24, and it's 56-50 with 2'10 left. Not Muskie's not out of the woods yet. Wieskamp down to floor on Wakefield. Stutter step to the rim. Good! And a foul! Joe Wieskamp has half a century! <laughs> 50! Three more and he gets my age. <laughs> it has been an electric evening tonight. Wieskamp with 50. Make it and he misses the free throw and there's a 
And Carton goes to the floor. Let's hope he's okay. Yeah, collided with his own teammate own there on teammate. the rebound. He and Wakefield collided as Carton got hit in the mouth. Now it's up front. Alexander, 150 to play. Just drives in back to Carton. He's at the top. Runner on the way. Shot no good. Rebound Hahn. And here come the Muskies. The Muskies with a layup only here. 58-50. Joe Wieskamp has a right wing. They get it to Falk. Bettendorf's going to look to foul, I'm sure, soon. Hutton has it. Coach Belger's going to want Joe touching the ball and just fouls Hutton, and Hutton will go to the line to shoot two. Big opportunity here for some of these other Muskies to hit some key free throws. Just now with two fouls. Muscatine Community College, proud supporters of Muskie Athletics along with affordable metal manufacturing. Josh Hutton takes a deep breath. Big free throws here. First one on the way, bottom of the net, good. Hutton now is six. Three for three from the stripe, and a big three-pointer from the right wing in the third quarter after Wieskamp had rattled off the first 31 points of the night for the Muskies. Hutton's second is good. Josh up to seven, and the Muskies lead 60 to 50 with 125 left. Down the floor, Carton ball, almost oh. stolen by Wieskamp. But Good active hands. Bounds. Good active hands there from Lex Hahn and Joe Wieskamp. Bettendorf will inbounds right in front of their own bench. Bill just has it. Out of Alexander, he drives into the gap, loses the ball, and it's a kick. This is forearm. I think he called a kick, though. Yeah. He kicked it with his forearm. It's an honest mistake. It is. Yeah. It's it, an honest mistake. If it's not, they could call it a jump ball, which right. would give Benton North the ball anyway. So they're going to let the call ride. That I mean... And everyone's yeah. being civil yeah. and discussing yeah. it. Yes. He knew he, he knew he made a mistake, an honest mistake, and not as serious as a 10-point game. <laughs> Just has it out front. Clock at a minute 10. Bettendorf's got to go. Wieskamp steals a pass. And they're going to follow him immediately. And they do. That's, in the five, on Alexander. That's five on Alexander. And Joe Wieskamp's just going to keep tacking on points. Folks, you better get out to the gym Tuesday night. Because you're going to see the all-time leading scorer in Class 4A. And you can take that one to the bank. Wieskamp needed 85 to break the record going into tonight. And he's throwing a 50 spot on the board and counting. Yeah, I mean, free throw on the way. Good. Wieskamp with 51. His career high. 51 His career points. high. Joe Wieskamp. Got to give it up for Joe. Second free throw. Good. Wieskamp with 52. Matching my wife's age. There's Carton in the Whoa. lane, throws up a shot. No rebound, Wieskamp Can't to Hutton. You, you did that on the air, right? Ahead for Jackson Falk <laughs> to Wieskamp. Plus City to Wieskamp with the hammer. The Muskies lead 64-50. Wieskamp with 54 points. I can't believe what I'm seeing. There's a pass, corner shot, no good. Rebound, Wieskamp. Joe down the lane. Just oh. falls down on a timeout Muscatine. Joe Wieskamp, I'm standing, and I'm an announcer. I mean, what a performance by Joe Wieskamp. This is one of those games that, you know, it's already a big stage with the biggest fundraiser of the year. It's just been amazing. Yeah, it's just, it's been a, it's been a game like no other. He had 50 at home a year ago against Burlington. He had 47 at Assumption a year ago. He just, Joe Wieskamp, and Joe Wieskamp, they just announced he broke his own score record. Joe Wieskamp had 43 on Tuesday night. He's had 97 points this week in two games. Incredible. Joey Martinez dribbling it out front as the Muskies have cleared the bench. Bryce Owen has it on the right wing. Tyree Williams also in. Drew Logal and Gabe Mulder for the Muskies. He, he's outscored Bettendorf tonight. Twice. He did it at Bettendorf, too. When they won 50-27, to 27, he outscored them 29-27. Joe Wieskamp with 54. This thing's over. 